evidence is going to show. Like 
of men into society. So they added several many stripes on that video and audio that you just heard. And they added several statements that I did not say. Anything that I may have said, they exacerbated it and made me say it consecutively over and over like a law who act by. Which I may have said once or twice. But they wanted to make me seem like a terrorist. And so you hear it eight or nine times, and you hear me calling Kenyatta Barron a bitch and a whore. The evidence is going to show. Some of you who don't know what that is, that's the crew. 
criminal report affidavit that the law enforcement lead detective Thomas Sturt is the author of. The evidence will show that in that CRA, I told the neighbor, don't come outside. Call 911 now. But you don't hear that on this audio for some reason. But you hear all these other things that I did not say. That same CRA will have the statements of Khalil Brown saying that he saw me take three strikes with that shotgun. And nothing else. The evidence is going to show that Mr. Harmon here says that that big chunk missing out of her arm was a bird shot. It was not a bird shot. And whatever kind of shot it was, if it was a slug shot or a bird shot, where's the missing pieces of her arm? The evidence is going to show you will not see any missing pieces of her arm in that closet where she was shot. You should see some evidence of shot, but there were several shots added to the wall to make it look like I aimed at her head. What the evidence is going to show. You remember, I told you the evidence will not show you that my son witnessed me beat his mom to death, nor did he witness me. Shoot his mom. In fact, he didn't witness much at all. And the evidence will show that my son says my dad shot my mom. It's a correct statement. If you want to cite statement. If he even said it. Because I can guarantee you, the evidence is going to show you we are under the most corrupt administration you've ever seen in your life. I guarantee you, I wouldn't waste your time. I, but I, I would have already took a plea deal of some kind if I knew I did something like this. Because most people don't even go to trial when they know they killed somebody unjustly. The evidence is going to show you who the killers are.
pleading not guilty to the charges of premeditated murder, attempted murder, aggravated child abuse or battery, arson, resisting arrest without violence. And while I'm at that, the evidence is going to show that they tased me for no reason. But they tampered with that video because they didn't want you to know the truth. And it might sound far-fetched, but I guarantee you we're going to see who the liars are before it's all said and done. Mark my words. Because my family, lives were taken. When my daughter was done, this is what the evidence will show. When my daughter was born, it was me who gave the command and fired the final command to keep her alive when she was on life support. When she was born, two pounds, two ounces, and couldn't breathe on her own, it was me who fought to keep her alive. But all of a sudden, I just want to take her life for no reason. justifiable homicide because I acted in self-defense and moved to protect myself and my children from Kenyatta Barron. I'm going to be showing with evidence several reasonable reasons to doubt the state's allegation against me. Evidence will show that the state cannot prove that I premeditated and killed anyone because I didn't have any time to reflect or plot and plan as if um, everything happened suddenly and spontaneously. I responded out of pure instinct and heat of past. Eliminated any kind of premeditated design. And let me just say, the evidence will show that since the state planned to kill me, if they can say that I killed my family unjustly, they planned to premeditatedly kill me. So they cannot say or deny me the right to premeditatedly kill Kenyatta Barron if she killed my children. The evidence will show that Kenyatta Barron had several medications and drugs such as morphine in her system. Evidence will show she had a domestic history and was arrested for domestic violence that same year. She also was born premature, just Judge, like Ranibia. I'm going to sustain the objection as to that particular argument regarding Ms. Barron being born prematurely. All right? You may continue on, Ms. Bernier. I didn't even state the basis of the objection. Um, it's I ruled, Mr. O'Neill, okay? I understand, but I have to state the basis of my objection. 
Well, that is correct, and, and I just assume what the objection is. So go ahead and state it for the record, Mr. Harmon. It's Russell Harmon. That's sustained. The evidence will show that she threatened to kill me with a knife just few weeks, just a few weeks before the incident, and she was angry about my relationship with my other child, Ron, and about the fact that we had to be cordial for our newborn son. And the evidence will show that they had been going back and forth and arguing on Facebook and by the telephone that whole afternoon before the incident. evidence will show that me and my son was at my mom's house while I was putting brakes on my aunt's car. Me and my son spent the whole day at my mom and dad's house working on the car. When we came back home I never knew she was arguing with my child's mom, my other child's mom, the whole day. That's what the evidence will show. Evidence will show that my daughter was prematurely born. She was autistic. My son, Ronnie, was diagnosed at the age of three with developmental delay and has a history of SLD. The evidence will also show that he was present but does not remember accurately or consistently what happened for many reasons making him unreliable when it comes to the actual facts. He also has been diagnosed with PTSD, as he should be, because this is a very traumatic thing that he went through. He also was diagnosed with major depressive disorder, intermittent confusion, and delirium. <laughs> the evidence is going to show, the evidence and testimony will show that Ronnie Flair, formerly known as Ronnie Romero IV, may have been coached on what to say by Can family I members. Can I see the and or oh, wait, law hold on, wait, hold on. I will overrule the objection. Thank this, you, this, Mr. O'Neill, again, jury, this is what both sides believe the evidence is going to show, all right? And again, you will be the ultimate determiner of what the facts are. You may proceed, Mr. O'Neill. Thank you, Your Honor. And these are also actual facts that Mr. Harmon left out when he told you about the report of his former psychologist. When he told you that he was adopted by his family members, which didn't work out as well, and he had to be placed with another family, which is now the Blair family. In that same report, it talks about how he may have been coached by family members. The evidence is going to show that my son was adopted by a detective who formerly worked in this case. Whom he now lives with. And I don't have a problem with that because he needs care. But I do have a problem with Mr. Blair being involved in this case being called as a witness, being the new father of my son, and now he's being called as a witness when he couldn't, could possibly have 
been coached by his new father, Gotcha. who is law enforcement. All right, and again, um, Mr. O'Neill, I'll rule the objection. Again, this is what Mr. O'Neill is asserting the facts will be. You may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. The evidence will show and prove that very vital evidence was definitely tampered with, which was a strategic omission to cover up the facts of this case making much more of the evidence unreliable. <laughs> as I know for a fact, it was altered as well. Reasonable doubt that will be revealed by me. 